everyone. So tonight I'm going to do a video on World of Warcraft add-on called Click. Click is a add-on that helps you to use mouse button clicks and keyboard clicks to target unit frames to cast abilities, healing abilities, attack abilities, and so on. So let's go to um, we're, uh, WoW interface where we can go get this add-on. So here we are, WoW interface. Type and click, spelled this way. Enter. You go to this page, we see click is at the very top here. It's updated. It's very recent for 7.0.3. So we click on that. I'm going to read here a little bit of the information it says here. Click is a simple add-on that enables powerful click casting and hover casting on your unit frames on your 3D game world. You combine virtually any mouse or keyboard combination to a spell or macro. In its normal configuration, this enables you to use the bindings over unit frames in order to cast spells directly on that unit. This allows you to more quickly select both the spell to cast and the target of the spell without requiring an extra quick click, which means you don't need to have them as your target or as a focus. So we do we click on the download button and we make sure that it downloads into our add-ons folder. So World of Warcraft interface add-ons uh, program files. I don't know where Mac does it, but here it is. It's uh, I've already downloaded uh, some time ago. Uh, there's really nothing else that needs to be done here. It just needs to be in that folder. Then you need to get into game, and I'm going to log out real quick here. Go down to Add-ons bottom left menu. Make sure you have click selected here. Make sure you have load out of date add-ons because as time goes as more uh, World of Warcraft updates come up, patches and stuff, this could eventually become out of date. And if you don't have this checked, then it's not going to load it. So you want to make sure just have that always clicked. So we're going to enter in the world. So you can find the panel for click here in your spellbook. So I'm pressing the P key on my keyboard to open up spellbook and click is right here at the very bottom of my menu below our general information and then below our specializations so we're gonna click on that to open it up so mine doesn't have anything in it but I'll show you how to remove that default stuff that's in there in just a moment so as you see it says you are in click binding mode that means that any of these things if I hit a mouse button or hit uh, a keyboard button will select that item here in this panel in the click binding configuration so kinda watch that to make sure you don't pick something by accident I've done it before it's it's probably gonna happen to you almost guaranteed your first time something's gonna happen you're not gonna know what's going on and then you're gonna have to open this up and, and you're gonna have to figure out okay what did I do wrong so to show you how it works I'm gonna choose flash of light and I'm gonna left button click it so now it says left button click or its binding is the left button and it'll cast flash of light. So I'm going to close this up so I don't accidentally click anything else and add any other different abilities and I'm going to mouse over my grid there cast flash of light mouse over shadow unit frames flash of light works great so let's say I accidentally picked the wrong thing changed my mind whatever so I want to delete this so I'm going to right mouse click I'm going to get open this little menu and it's going to say delete binding and then poof and you're going to have to do it here you can't delete binding here it has to be in here so now I'm going to close this I'm clicking I'm clicking and yeah nothing's being cast left click is not working because I'm not you know I haven't got anything bound there for left click so so this is my train of thought when I'm picking my skills and abilities what I like to do is I like to pick the my core healing abilities first for my left button my right button and my middle button clicks so flash of light is staple holy light that'll be right button that staple and holy shock is going to be middle button that staple oops and a mouse wheel up accidentally rolled the mouse wheel on that one 
So there you see how I can, oops, accidentally added an ability I don't want to. So that takes care of all that I have now, the ability to cast my staple abilities. And I just said staple abilities two different ways, didn't I? That's annoying. All right. So we're not done yet because I have so many other abilities I'm going to add to this. And again, it comes back to what is my train of thought when I'm deciding what am I going to bind and what am I not going to bind to click. So the abilities I'm going to bind to click are all going to be abilities that I can use on other players in, their, in a unit frame and not just self-cast abilities. For example, my shields. So Divine Protection and Divine Shield, these are only cast on me. I can't cast these on anybody else. So I am not going to bind these to click because they, they only benefit me. And instead, you see, I kind of have them here. Actually, I think I have almost everything here that I use regardless. Just because, because every once in a while, my head gets going a little too fast in the game. And then I, I can't think straight about what I need to do. And suddenly, I'll just start clicking these because i got to heal myself or got to holy shock myself. For a moment, I'll be like, I get just turned around. There's too much going on in a raid or something and I'll just like I'm moving I can't think straight I need a holy shock on myself I'm just gonna holy shock and give myself a chance to survive alright so we're gonna pick abilities and my next abilities I pick are gonna be combination of keyboard press and mouse click now I can just do it with just keyboard press if I want but I like doing keyboard press and mouse clicking so my next ability I'm gonna do beacon of light and this is just my personal choice. So we're kind of looking at abilities that will be used the most that are easiest for me to respond to in a combination keyboard press and mouse press. Beacon of Light, I could probably think about doing something different with this because a shift left click is pretty easy for me to hit with my pinky. So I might change that in the future but for right now I'm just showing you I'm doing a shift left click for beacon of light so now I'm gonna think about shift right click because I'm keeping my head in the same kind of areas as what am I using for what's the easiest thing for me to hit because shift is going to be easier than control now of course if you have extra buttons on the side of your mouse those are probably going to be very easy for you to click but I find that it requires me some thinking to remember, okay, which one of my abilities was set for, you know, the t the first button on the side or the second button. My my mouse says it's a uh, it's a razor, and it only has two buttons on the side, so button four and button five. But I'll get to those in just a moment because we're working on control. So now or shift. So now I'm going to do shift right click and I'm gonna choose see light of the martyr yeah shift right button and I'm not gonna put class I'm not gonna use uh, light of the martyr as a main button just because this one does damage to me as well I want to force myself to think about what I'm doing when I'm gonna choose this ability I don't want to accidentally be casting it and killing myself I've already killed myself multiple times with Light of the Martyr when my health gets too low. So I'm just putting it there where it's easy to use because I, I know it's going to be one of my go-tos but I have to think about it before I pick it. And then we're going to do for middle button I'm going to do cleanse. I think cleanse is a relatively important ability. So I'm going to do shift middle button and that gives me cleanse. Now there are other abilities that can go in these places and shift there's all my blessings that can go in those places um, we got lay on hands that we can also use in there so but we're gonna we're gonna pick uh, different things for different for different spots so we're gonna do a blessing of sacrifice and that's going to be a control left button so control left button for that blessing you might think well then that means you're going to do a blessing for your control right button but no that's not what's going to happen for control right button I'm going to do lay on hands and that's just because that's what I've been doing for a long time 
and maybe I should change it up. Maybe I should rethink what buttons are going to be, what key bindings. Maybe all my control buttons should be all different types of blessings that I can give out. Maybe that's the way I should be doing that. And then control middle button, light it on. That's what I'm going to use there. So all these abilities can be cast on someone except for Lightadon. It's not targeting. It's I don't have to mouse over somebody to cast it. It's just you hit it and it hits everything in front of you and some other things that are kind of behind you up to a certain distance. All right, so the final ones are going to be mouse button 4, mouse button 5. I'm going to do my blessings in there. So I'm going to do a blessing of protection, mouse button 5, and then a blessing of freedom mouse button four and that covers basically everything that I want to keep track of aura mastery I I've already put aura mastery here so if I want to use aura mastery I'm just gonna click this I'm just gonna reach down here and click it if I want to do a divine steed I'm gonna click it here if I want to attack something I'm either gonna click on this or I'm gonna click it already down here you know on one two or three four keys kinda of thing also, you know, my trinkets will be the same thing. I'll just put them down here and keep track of them that way. Even Light's Hammer, this kind of stuff. Because Light's Hammer, you have to target something. You, once you pick it, you gotta, you know, you gotta move your mouse. You can't just, well, it's kind of, I'm hovering over a name, but it's definitely not targeting me. Anyway, so it's gonna get rid of that. I don't want to do it. So that's that. So let's just give this a quick tryout. I'm going to click, click Defender Leona because I could show you that I can also heal her. So I'm going to left click. So let's flash a light. I'm going to give her a holy light. I'm going to give myself a shock. Let's see if I can give her a bless or bacon. Can I give her bacon or no? Yeah, just gave her bacon. Everyone likes bacon. All right, we got bacon on her. Um, let's see, she takes some damage. So she takes some damage. I'm just going to give her a quick instant uh, light of the martyr. She just got light of the martyr right there. Lots of lots of healing there. 11, 11, 116,000 there. And I took some damage for that half damage. Uh, let's see, what else did we want to do? Um, oh, yeah. So... I wonder. Let's see. Oh yeah, cleanse. Well, I can't cleanse anybody because there's nothing to cleanse. But I can still do it. I can still pop cleanse, and it, it doesn't go on cooldown because there's nothing to cleanse. But I'm doing a uh, shift and middle button to do my cleanse. It just doesn't go on cooldown just because there's nothing there for it to go off, which is kind of weird. You figure it'd go on a cooldown anyway. All right, so let's go down through. Uh, let's go down through control. So. I'm going to give her a lay on hands. Bam! She just got lay on hands and she's got forbearance. So I can't give her any abilities that would be triggering forbearance, which is divine shield. Hands of anything. Any hands or blessings you can't give to her. And I can't give her. Definitely she can't get another lay on hands from another paladin. Alright, so. And then I think we're going to hit her with a light of dawn. So control and middle button, light of dawn right there. We just pop light of dawn. And let's see, I think we did what was this? Yeah. That's you know, that's something else. Alright. So we're gonna go through our That's right, I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay. So we're gonna try to give her let's see, I think this is sacrifice. Yeah, we just gave her a blessing of sacrifice. I can't blessing a sacrifice myself. I can blessing a sacrifice anyone. You see, I take a little debuff here, or however you want to see it. I take some of the damage she takes. And then we're going to, let's see, let's do, um, I'm going to bop myself and hand of freedom her. And I think that covered everything. I think that was all my abilities. Did I miss anything here? I didn't demonstrate for you. No, I think we demonstrated everything. So, as you see, even though I selected her, I really needed to do that because 
you really you need to have the unit frame without the unit frame I can't just you know I'm trying to give her I'm trying to I'm trying to okay I had to I have to actually select her to give her I have to select her so I have her as uh, a target in order to do this but when somebody's in your party you don't have to worry about that she's not in my party technically so I can't focus I can't mouse over her on grid unfortunately like I can so see click in on her this is this is uh, my target for shall unit frames this is this Stephen Lord here my bar here is also from shall unit frames but I can do this I don't have to select my character I'm just hovering over and clicking the mouses the mouse buttons or the keyboards and and that takes care of everything there so I think that covers everything I wanted to show you for right now uh, again I would say that think through what you want to use think through what you want to be your main button click abilities that you know you're gonna use then you're gonna look at your keyboard and decide which abilities there are ones that will be easy for you to access on your keyboard and then going down to the harder and harder ones that you have to you should really think about whether or not it's the right ability to use at the time or not and uh, yeah I wouldn't bind too many things unless you can keep track of a lot of things in your head maybe you can so anyway that's my video I think I covered everything for you and um, well next video will probably we'll talk about shadow unit frames that's that's this little guy and hopefully I will get this problem with the disconnects figured out by then and thank you guys for watching and uh, see you later dudes